Hello, everybody, and welcome back to L.A. Noir. 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 <laughs> There's never going to be a definitive name for that. And I am here with a grande white mocha. As you guys have probably figured out by now, I'm a huge coffee drinker. So this is a big deal for me. <laughs> but anyway, the white shoe slaying. Well, that looked interesting. Did she get hit? Obviously, she didn't get hit by a car. There was a guy near her, though. Hmm. On a rainy day. Good morning, gentlemen, day. and what a grand morning it is, too. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice showy trial, and he'll be struck down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Now, to fresh business. Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. The address is on the hill, north downtown of Fremont Avenue. You know what's interesting? Skipper, Today. is the new letter genuine? Now, boys, we all know how many imbeciles have been invested in the short case. Interesting thing is that it's actually raining out right now today. That's I find that kind of interesting that I'm playing a case in the rain. And greetings from sunny California. When's it gonna stop? Come on. By morning and the We keep locking them up, but the bodies keep piling up. Are you actually kidding me right now? Yeah, California's love a fat, Phelps. As long as the bricks hold up in San Quentin, they'll always be killed in this town of San First the letter, and now another body. Come on, you can't keep on telling me there's not a killer still out there. No, Phelps, all these arrests on the record are giving you a reputation. You don't want them turning into unsolved. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. Really? And besides, landing a big fat marlin is more impressive than an ocean full of minnows. The minnows make it the man. But you can't always get home run. Sometimes you just gotta make it. Perfect. That guy there will lead us up. I'm stealing myself from what I'm about to see. I'll just be another dead body. You used to sing. You're the gig when you're working homicide. Examine crime Detectives. scene. Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Scene secure. The rest of the patrolmen are going door to door, canvassing for witnesses. Thanks. Keep me informed. Will do, Detective. This looks awfully familiar. I think that's the impression the boys from the Examiner took with them as well. There's nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? What do we have so far? Not much trace evidence to speak of. Storm blew in around 10 last night, and the rain washed most of it away. And the body? 
Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, it's triple braid again. Time of death. From her temperature, maybe 2 a.m., but it was cold last night. Usual head injuries. Blunt force trauma. Knock him over the head, then strangle and mutilate. No message with this one. At least she was left clothed. I doubt very much he was concerned with her dignity. The green silk dress is very distinctive. Any sign of her other shoe? No. And no handbag or other personal effects. Take a look. Alright, here we are with this, the rope again. There appears to be a dry cleaning label. Superior Laundry Services, F1363. Let me guess, ring finger? No. Hmm. What about over here? Huh. No ring taken this time. Maybe she didn't have any rings. No drag marks. The killer was moving around, surveying the scene. Our driver and our killer are most likely one and the same. What is this? Detectives, I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. This lady thinks she has something for us. Detective Phelps, LAPD. I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. Okay, suspicious persons. Did you see anyone around here last night? Not last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. I don't know why she'd be lying. Do you have a description? Tall, gaunt, horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident in the war. He's a very scary, angry man. Any idea where we might find him? One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. They all follow him around. Thank you, ma'am. You've been a big help. Of course. Anything I can do to help. I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing be done about it. All right, let's get a name of the laundry place, shall we? Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, detective? I need an address on Superior Laundry Services. Just a moment. Superior Laundry Services, 1260 West 1st Street. Wait. Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Just a moment, detective. There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Thanks, ma'am. Okay. And of course, he's already in the car waiting for us. Let's go to the laundry services. No message. Excuse me? There was no message. Where? On the bit. The last bodies had something written. This one did. I'm failing to follow. Can't be the same guy. Right before you start trying to link this to Maldonado and all the others. 
There are more factors to consider than the messages, Rusty. This doesn't fit your pattern, Cole. End of conversation. Understand? Any sentry in a possible 415 and Alvera Street Plaza in a day. Is that going to count? <laughs> At least the rain stopped. You can change back into those white bucks now. Please, I have business to run. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. We're investigating a case and one of your laundry labels came up. F1363. If you give me a minute, I'll go find a register and you can take a look. You take a look for yourself. I've got clothes that need pressing. You wrote the number down on that dress, is it there? Got it. This is T. Terrells at 43 Emerald Street, Westlake. All right, we have an address to go on. It's always good. What is this? Not only this, I'm destroying everything here. I've got a feeling we're about to meet another wife killer. You've always got that feeling, Rusty. Yeah, and it's usually correct. Please, please, for once, can you not let your assumptions color your detective work? Just you wait. The Nordic type show a particular disposition for this stuff. Well, you know, this officer needs help. Bank of America, 7th and Olive. Officer needs help. Bank of America, 7th and Olive. Hello? Yes? Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Is your wife home, sir? My wife went out last night and she hasn't come home. Can you describe your wife and what she was wearing? We were out at a friend's place, Bobby Ross's, for a party. She was kind of dolled up. She had her green silk dress, open-toed white shoes. Shit. Those are her favorite shoes. Can we come in, Mr. Tarleton? I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. Do you have someone who can look after your children, Mr. Terrelson? I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. I'm afraid your wife was murdered last night. Her body was found this morning. We're very sorry for your loss. I know this is a difficult time, Mr. Terrelson, but we are gonna need you to answer some questions. First, we're gonna take a look around. What for? You don't think it's that- It's procedure. You see to your girls.
Stay here till Daddy's finished talking to these men. Where's Mommy? Everything's gonna be all right, sweetheart. We would like Mommy to come home now, Daddy. What's the problem, Terrelson? Let him search. You got nothing to hide. You wanna hear something funny, Terrelson? Some bums think filling out a missing persons report actually rules them out as a suspect. To check if she was a regular. So many bars in Los Angeles. If you'd excuse me, ladies. Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. So she went out without her handbag? She'd have to be in quite a state to leave this behind. At least she was spared that particular indignity. We can see if Pinker can match the impression of the crime scene. was out in the rain last night. Hmm. Looks like a match with the ligature marks. There we go. For the record, Mr. Terrelson, what is your wife's name? Teresa. Possible suspects. Do you have any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? No. Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. It can't be anyone who knew her. I think you're lying, Lars. I think you were mad at your wife for embarrassing you in front of your friends. I think you came back here and strangled her and then dumped her body on the hill. You think I strangled my wife? How do you expect to prove that? Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe the bow rope with blood on it? Your wife was strangled with triple braid rope. The bow line from your boat is a perfect match. Look, I know this looks bad. I'm gonna have to come to terms with the fact that I let her go. <laughs> Alibi for Lars. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place? That's right, Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. I don't think so. You let your drunk wife leave the party and go off on her own? Look, I was angry. I was having a good time. She has to go and ruin it. We always have to do what she wants to do. Last night she wanted to go dancing. Any idea where? Where she always goes. Bar down on North Beaudry Avenue, Baron's Bar. She goes there, drinks too much, gets maudlin, and calls me. I go and bring her home. Okay, victim state of mind. Mr. Terrelson, was Teresa happy at home? Yeah, I think she was. Something tells me she wasn't. Spill it, Terrelson. We like the look of you for this, so you better give us something. We're at the party. She has a few and says she wants to go out dancing. We only have the sitter until nine. I get mad, I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. I married her because she was so much fun, but now she drives me fucking crazy. What time did she leave the party? About 8.30, maybe a little earlier. Last contact. When was the last time you saw your wife? Around 8.30. The card game at Bobby's is wrapping up. Played out my hand and drove home here. Paid the sitter and went to bed. Um. Well, we know that that's not true because of the You're wet lying, jacket. Lars. 
You didn't come straight home, did you? And how do you figure that? You were out in the rain. You got soaked, Lars. We found your wet weather gear. Okay, I stayed a little later than I said. This cute little brunette was hitting on me. <sighs> Teresa noticed. I was half cut. I walked her home from Bobby's, but nothing happened. I walked back and got the car this morning. Thanks for answering okay. our questions, Mr. Tarleton. You'll need to go downtown to identify your wife's body. I should have taken her dancing. In my experience, Mac, you give in to Braj, you'll be given in to them your entire life. We could break the husband's story right now. Call in, get some uniforms dispatched to check out his alibi. All right. We'll do that when we come back.